I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. They were among those in communities throughout our region who gathered in solemn tribute, honoring all the lives that were lost 12 years ago today. Town of Deer Park officials continued their tradition of holding a September 11th service near the 9-11 memorial that sits outside Town Hall in Huguenot. Speakers offered remembrances of that day, and while the passage of time has made emotions a little less raw, the wounds have not healed. Obviously there's a scar there that's uh, never going to become invisible, and nor should it ever become invisible. Uh, it was a terrible, terrible day that actually the only thing that I, I see that became good of that day was the United People in the United States who stuck together, who fought a common foe, and we're still fighting that foe. September 11th is an especially tough day to get through for Tilly Geidel of the nearby town of Greenville. Her husband Gary lost his life at the World Trade Center along with fellow members of Rescue Company One in Midtown Manhattan. Instead of going to New York City, uh, Tilly and family members uh, chose to attend the ceremony in Deer Park. You can have put on a, a, a nice ceremony. Um, it's a, a little bit smaller than me going down to Manhattan. Um, and it's just a very nice uh, memorial you put on here. I don't have much memory of it. I feel it's probably toughest watching my aunt and cousin, how they, how they react. Um, like I don't have a strong enough memory of it for it to really get me so easily, I guess, just by being here. It's mostly when I'm hearing the stories and when I'm seeing my aunt and my cousin's reactions that it gets difficult. Once again this year, the Deer Park event included the placement of wreaths on the town's 9-11 memorial tree. Amid all the 9-11 memorials today, the body of Staff Sergeant Todd Lobriaco was uh, returned to the National Guard base at Stewart Airport today. Lobriaco was uh, killed in Afghanistan last week while serving with the 105th Airlift Wing based at Stewart. Last night in the Sullivan County town of Highland, about 100 local residents gathered to not only remember those who lost their lives on 9-11, but to offer a public thank you to those emergency responders in the community who continue to put their lives on the line each day as they serve and protect. The ceremony was held at Heroes Park in Eldred, a place uh, that includes a steel beam obtained from the former World Trade Center site. Among the speakers, Highland Supervisor Andy Boyer, who said the time had come to designate a day to recognize and show appreciation for our emergency responders. A former Kingston High School social studies teacher has been sentenced to five years probation in order to pay a $2,500 fine for selling drugs from his home in Hurley. 42-year-old Matthew Didana was suspended from his job by the Kingston Board of Education after pleading guilty last May to a felony count of possession of a controlled substance. Prosecutors said the decision was made to move forward with a sentence of probation because it had uh, not been a violent crime and because the Donna had no prior criminal record. A lengthy investigation by City of Middletown Police prompted officers to obtain a search warrant for a residence on Linden Avenue. There they found a loaded handgun along with uh, 20 grams of crack cocaine and 23 bags of heroin. And as a result, two Middletown men, 42-year-old Anthony Watkins and 44-year-old Bruce Watson, have been charged with felony drug possession and criminal possession of a weapon. Meantime, police in Saugerties got the call of a personal injury rollover accident on Route 9W near Menard Lane. Responding officers found a pickup truck resting on its roof in a field, but no driver. Officers were able to follow a blood trail that led them to a Route 9W residence and the driver, 34-year-old Derek Legoff of Saugerties. He'd suffered head trauma, fractures, and deep cuts, and was airlifted to Albany Medical Center. While at Legoff's residence, uh, they discovered an outside marijuana grow operation with plants up to six feet tall being cultivated on his property. Police were in the process of uh, compiling the criminal charges that they will be filing. Port Jervis Deer Park Humane Society is currently under quarantine and the countywide outbreak of feline distempers the reason. No new cats or kittens will be admitted to the shelter until all cats now housed there are considered free of the disease. Feline distemper is a highly contagious and sometimes fatal gastrointestinal illness. 
Cats and kittens at the shelter will not be available for adoption till they uh, show no signs of the illness for at least two to three weeks. And they made their way into Newburgh today. The more than 200 cyclists, many of them injured military veterans, who are taking part in the Ride to Recovery Minuteman Challenge. It's a 425 mile ride from Lexington, Massachusetts to Philadelphia. And it's an event held to show how cycling can play an important role in both the physical and mental recovery of our returning soldiers. Today's fourth leg of the journey began in Danbury, Connecticut and covered nearly 60 miles. The Ride to Recovery is sponsored by United Healthcare and it challenges each injured veteran to meet personal goals and find ways to cope on their long road to recovery. Wet weather heading our way will cool things down after these past couple of days of heat and humidity. It'll be cloudy with showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for tomorrow with the highs Thursday in the middle 80s. Friday will be partly sunny and much cooler with temperatures not expected to climb any higher than the middle 60s. Stay on top of what's happening by starting your day with the Times Herald record and make Record Online your source for news whenever and wherever it breaks. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Banks.